We're going to press credit. Oh, uh, that just brings back so many memories. Radio. Welcome to Marto's Arcade. Right, I'm actually really excited about this episode simply because um, I found a game that I can play with this wheel. This wheel plugs into this cabinet via USB. It's a arcade blaster, which was really a retro pie um, in conjunction with a jammer output. So this, um, I'll show you that very shortly. Um, so that RK Blaster will plug into any jammer interface, except it's got its own power supply into it, like a Retro Pi, not through the jammer. But anyway, um, instead of doing a USB with the trackball, um, we've plugged in, plugged in the GT Driving Force wheel, which I still think is the best and the cheapest RK wheel that you can um, that you can get nowadays. So I can't wait. Um, I just need to tell you a little bit of a story because it took back some memories for me personally. Back in 1984 or something like that, my father used to play um, ten pin bowling uh, in a league, and of course back then arcades were everywhere. So the ten pin bowling. Um, Ten Pin Bowling Place had Arcade Corridor and what was there, there was always a pole position. For those that don't know, it's a Formula One um, time based game. So anyway, you'll get to see. Um, I'll just, we'll have a quickly look, well, we'll quickly look at the Arcade Blaster and then we'll get the game going. I'm not going to rabbit on too much. Alright, I'm really looking forward to this. Um, I haven't really had a good go at this game, but the steering, the steering works really well, especially this wheel. If you wanted to build a um, pole position, simply get the RK Blaster and... Cat's on the roof. Get an RK Blaster with this wheel. Um, the other thing is, the first button there, if you can see that, the first button, that's Accelerator. And then I worked out yesterday, after six months that I got it, that the third button is the high and low. So you hit it for low, hit it for high. It's because you really need that high and low to go through those sharp and low corners. So you've got to dodge and weave in between all these um, cars. But anyway, this is really, really something because I never thought I could actually have this game in this, in this games room. Alright, let's have a look at the RK Blaster. Hopefully that'll stay there. Sorry, I need to get you right down in there. Right, that is the arcade blaster there that you buy, right? This cost me $390. This is all the brains, that little box there. Actually, I need to hold that somehow. So there's your jammer board. Don't know if you can see. And then you've got your HDMI out. You power in and you can turn the volume up and down here. So all the power's going there. So um, the jammer just goes to all the switches and the joystick. For those that don't know. Um, the sound comes out of the HDMI and I've just got it into an amp. Alright, so you've seen inside there. Alright, I'm just going to set you up so you can actually see me play. Actually, I'll see you up here.
All right, hopefully you can see there. So if you wanted to set up this um, actually in our pole position, you could actually use the first button as um, accelerator pedal. So it's just a button, just like a sewing machine button. And then you could hook up the third button onto a gear stick thing like um, up and down. You don't got to hit it there, there for high and for low there. Um, don't get me wrong, that wouldn't be just for a driving game. Um, you would also set it like this in a, in a cabinet with a pull-out drawer maybe like that. And tell the truth, I'm thinking about doing this on the racing sim over there as a build. So you get the luxury of all the racing games as well as all the arcade games. But anyway, we're going to we're gonna pick arcade and we go down to we're going to go down to pole position. There we go. So this is a sound that you would hear in the arcades when it automatically drives itself like for demo. And you'd hear that flat out and you'd hear other games. It's just it was such a good memory. Right, I'm hoping that you can see the steering wheel as well as me doing the buttons. So what we're going to do is we're going to press credit. Oh, that just brings back so many memories. Radio. There you go, we got six position. Six position, let's go. bonus. There you go guys, hope you enjoyed that, I really enjoy that, that's a great, 
you want to go back to the old arcade games, um, you can do it that way without getting the original boards or anything like that. I know it's a ROM, but it still works great. Alright guys, thanks for watching.